Hey guys, welcome back. We're here for another video, but today is not a TTM video. It is a uh, contest. Curtis Hendricks uh, received his 150th subscriber. He's well past that now. And decided to have a 150 subscriber giveaway contest. Contest is very easy. Grab a card and tell a story. And that's it. And it's open till September 2nd, so you still have time to submit your videos. My video is on a card. Um, I grew up about an hour and 20 minutes from the city of Pittsburgh. Of course, the Pirates were my favorite team of all time. And one of my favorite players of all time was a guy named Willie Stargell. In about 1983, I think I was uh, 15 years old, my brother um, says, why don't we go see Willie Stargell? He's speaking at a local college. They're having a speaker series. College was West Liberty State College, which is now known as West Liberty State University. They were having a speaker series, inviting some famous people in to speak. And Willie Stargell had uh, just retired the year before. He was 42 years old. 1982 was his final season and was hitting the uh, speaker circuit. So we hustled up, and I went upstairs and grabbed the first few cards that I could find, one of which was this 1965 Tops, Willie Stargell, which after he got done speaking, I was able to get his autograph. And look at that beautiful Willie Stargell autograph, one of the best signatures in baseball history. And he also signed this index card, with that same left-handed slant that you see on all of his autographs. And he also signed this brand new 1983 Fleer card, which was called the Fountain of Youth, card number 634 in the series. And it dealt with two guys who were um, nearing the ends of their career, Stargell and Pete Rose. And as you can see, Willie signed right there along his black jacket, which... You know, I wish he wouldn't have done, but it still looks great. And, um, of course, it wasn't signed by Pete Rose at the time. Now, flash forward to 1992, and Pete Rose is appearing at a baseball card show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And yours truly went up to meet him. And that's the result of that meeting. 1992, I think I was uh, 24 years old there at that time shaking hands with old Pete, and Pete was able to sign this card. So eight, nine years later, first signed by Willie, then signed by Pete, and it's one of my favorite cards in my entire collection. But that's it. That's the story, and I'm sticking to it. This is a short video. Curtis Hendricks, go check out his link to his contest. I'll have it down below in the description below. He's uh, well past 150 on his way to 200, and then I'm sure before long we'll be having a 500-sub giveaway contest for old Curtis. So check out his account. Make sure if you like this card, if you like the story, hit the like button.